Welcome back everyone to Finally Play as the Burglar and we are back here with Zvonner who seems to have a few more things he needs for us to do to help continue along the way as we explore the realm of Nud Melek. If we are to find Mithril and Khazadum, we will first have to deal with the orcs. I am here to look out at the great stone trees and see this legendary hall with my own eyes as I pass through into the light. If you are going down with me, let us pay tribute to the dwarf statues from Durin's day that line the hall. Legend has it that there are braziers at the feet of the dwarves that one cast an, once cast an orange glow along the full length of the second hall. But these have long been unlit. Well, yeah, I suppose they would be. But we're not quite ready to go in that direction. Do you have anything that might be along the way to Zabagatho? Mm, I believe that's in the direction of the smell we had earlier. Uh, the Stand and speak with me. The fate of Khazadum hangs in the balance. Uh, yes, the smell. I have traveled here to look upon the magnificent stone trees, but I find my meditation disturbed by the hints of strange odor. It is fleeting, but... Its source must be powerful in such a drafty, wide, high ceiling hall. Will you find the source of the odor? I would hate to see even this stone forest tainted by the evils that may have crept into Moria. All right, I shall. You so? I'll help you along there. And let's go and... My name out. Now I think technically this call is for the tribute of Light One and he's not intended to go with you to like to go and take care of the odor, but I wind up taking him with me anyway since he gives you the two quests along the same time. And maybe someday I'll remember to take the odor one first, but unfortunately is the one that's always lower down. And you no, know, I know, I know, they do these in alphabetical order. And since they're in alpha I think it's in alphabetical order, and that means it's not in the order I particularly need it in. Alright, there you go. And start killing him before our friendly dwarf goes and breaks any chance of stealth and all. And he's dead. Defeat enemies and monsters in the second hall. Well, I should be able to do that pretty easily. Right? Especially with the help of this dwarf along with me. Just wants to make sure I see which... whether he has to heal or the tricky stance. He has the dead stance. That's the stance that he has. Right. Alright. Fine. You want to fight? You can fight. I I don't appreciate that deep wound, though. And he even counts as an enemy. Right. We need to take you to this orc next. Because the first source of that smell is right over there. Yeah, they're just not getting time in order to cast their annoying heal spell. Yeah, definitely need to kill this one because... He is definitely going to make a bad day for me if I don't. As I try to examine that. There you go. Yuck. Fungus all over the place in Moria, isn't it? This fungus exudes a pungent, foul odor. Right. Well, I suppose that is true. These dragonets really have to make sure I take care of those. Now, as concerning the orcs, I'm not going to try to take their box. Actually, this is probably the character that would have been good to head along through here without 
Varner at my side because that means I could be able to pick pockets and all that fun stuff that's really tough to do when you've got somebody hanging around out with you. I suppose I get close enough that I'm so used to being in skirmishes where if you're, they see your soldier, it breaks stealth since they're considered to be an extension of you. Oh, the fungus is up there. Okay. So since they are treated as an extension of you, that means that you, you break stealth if they're in the area, since so this guy acts as an ally for you. There you go, and... I want to... I was waiting until Adel was off the cooldown before waking him up. Just in case I needed it. Though, it did seem to be redundant in that case. Completed enemies in the second hall. Good. Fungus cluster. Exus a pungent followed. Oh, what a coincidence! Didn't the first one also do that? Hmm. I don't need to kill any more, though. Of course, killing extra orcs and goblins. Any chance I could? No, of course not. Well, that sort of blew my cover, but the goblin wasn't able to do whatever nefarious scheme it had. Oh, hello. Hey, look, over there. Gotcha, fooled ya. Hey. Stabby, stab, stab. Where were we? Oh yes, one more fungus we need, and several worms apparently. I don't know how much luxury I have for skipping quests within the second hall since... Yes, you only need 18 to finish the deed, but I'm not too sure if there are too many more than 18 that exist altogether. I we collected some acre. Suppose this means I'm gonna have to kill a few more of these. Finally, you have discovered three clusters of fungus in the second hall. Alas, the spread of Scourge Moria, not even this fair stone trees are safe now. Hmm. Yeah, what has woken the spores and stirred them to creep upward even into these dry halls? Oh, that's an interesting question. I found five more worms, but I'll have to take care of the rest later. Now, I've never come into this area from this direction. I usually come in through one of the earlier entrances. I wanted to see if there's any difference here. I don't think so. Let me remove this from here. Because I think I still can find him eventually just by going up and down these stairs. All the way through. In fact, I see quest ring right up here. And I also have a dwarf with me. Hello there! Gloomer. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. It's good to see you. I am glad that Bori was kind enough to send me a bit of help here. Down below, Mazak's men have been hard at work. Can you defeat Mazak's closest servants, Petronella? They are called the Pulpum, and they seem to serve his most loyal as formidable bodyguards and can be found in the area below. Alright, so defeat Pulpum flank defenders and Pulpum foe slayers. And hopefully this dwarf here would be more of a help than a hindrance. Now that's not a pulpum. And we don't need to fight that guy, right? Y 
Okay, good. He's willing to ignore those. I'm sure if he sees an orc, though, he will attack on sight because we know how dwarves and orcs get along famously. Yeah. I have discovered Seekin Tharach. Tharach. Seekin Tharach. All right. Okay, well, there is a flank defender right there. Let's... Yeah, because I, I didn't... I didn't give myself much chance of doing that alone. Doing that through stealth. No, just put the archer to sleep. Hey, hey, think of you for dying before you used your healing spell. I am just so grateful for that. for you. Wakey, wakey! It gives us a one flake defender and zero foe slayer. Oh. Right, fine. I'll take care of you too. And even out of you along the way because I'm sure that I'm not going to need that idol to get somebody on a more important item very soon afterwards within the next minute. Down here we have a foe slayer. Oh, you resisted! How rude of you! Everything's not working now. Not even addled. Hmm. Maybe I'm addled. Always a possibility. Now for our foe slayer. So we have one of each. So we'll just we need to get three more of each, right? Oh right. Yeah. <sighs> well that can have been done in a more stealthy manner, I have to admit that. But when you got a dwarf with you, it's hard to do anything in a stealthy manner. Subtlety is not a very strong point. There you go. And can we do just one of these? Yes, brittle might be optimal, but I just want to see if we can really manage it without that. Uh, 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 uh. These are just regular warriors. And let's not spend the time to go in and out of stealth for this guy. We just want to knock him out and knock him dead. Ooh. Flank defender. That one, me. Ooh. No, 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 you idiot! <laughs> Why did I bring somebody along? <laughs> bring down half the orcs in the area. Alright, probably not that bad. That's one flank defender. It's flank to flank defender. The dwarf is able to heal? Oh well. I suppose we weren't really in any danger after all. Okay, we weren't in any, any real danger no matter what considering that these are level 58, I'm level 60. I've got a dwarf with me. And I'm starting to gain some small facility on how to use this character. And who knows, I might even know how to use it properly by the time I get the Mordor. <laughs> yeah, right. So what do I have here? Oh, this could be my last flank defender. That would be good. Addled it so much it killed it. Yeah. 
Now we need to get these foe slayers, which seem to be, they're always the tough ones to get. Now we know that there is a foe slayer that you get back where we came to earlier, which might have already respawned. I think that's what I usually do. I usually come back and get the respawn. So you can also go around and gain some others by going up and around. Which also works. Now let's kill this archer for good measure since we're certainly not going to get a chance to sneak fight with this dwarf on my side. Yeah, I hear the... Oh, wait. Oh! How did we miss this guy? How did this guy miss us? No idea. But he's a Fulpum Spoh Slayer, so we shall slay him. And this shall be glorious. The glorious tale of Petronella Turner. Just doesn't have a ring to it. Let's go back and pick up the respawn. I'm sure it's up there by now, right? Right. Well, not necessarily because this place is rather... Aha, though, I do see the patrolling archer has already respawned. So that means the bow slayer right there has respawned. Yes. A most devious plan to be able to get out of here as expeditiously as possible. How you missed that dwarf, I have no idea. Of course, then the dwarf messed it up. Maybe I should, well, all right, this is an archer, so it might not have worked out thinking. Maybe I should have just, mm, maybe have just, a, walked up to it, let him attack the dwarf, and then sneak up behind it. That's a possibility, but it doesn't work too well with archers. Well, yeah, it doesn't always work. I think we have a successful, successful operation here. Alright, let's do that little thing. Yeah. You attack dwarf, I get behind, I go stabby stab stab. Perfect! And it took me how many episodes to figure that out? Right, that's it! Pulpum dead! Pulpum are now a pulp! It is time for us to get back to Bloomer. We thinned the ranks of the Pulpum a little bit. See, just as Bori said, Nothing bad has happened to Petronella. Well, not to us, anyway. Maza can't say the same. Roy's worries are needless. Well, we shall see. Stand and speak with me. The fate of Casa Doom hangs in the balance. But enough about Broin. With all that he has been through, he deserves his rest, and I do not want to disturb his peace of mind by telling him all the details of our efforts in Zabagato. I am curious about the last words of those servants of Maza, the Pulpum guards that you defeated. Someone seems to be in league with Maza, but to what end? Hmm. Return to Zabagato and search that place for treasure coffers. I want to learn more about Maza's mysterious ally. Now I want to know, where does one of the allies or actually say anything like that. I don't recall ever s seeing any text out of them. Ah, there it is. Popum Foslayer says, you cannot defeat Mazog's new ally. All right. He, that's what he says. But do we believe him? Let's find these treasure coffers and see what's inside of them. Unfortunately, we don't have to go through the main parts of Zabagathal to do that. All we have to do is kill this crazy marauder, who are pretty much the same as those Bulbum 
bow defenders or whatever they call. Oops. Yeah, those. No, the flank defenders. Something like that. There you go. There is one coffer down. Two coffers down. And we need to get only four more of these. Hello there. Be happy I'm not after you guys today. Right, right. Three. Is that a skull on those coffers? Good grief. Skulls. What nice, wonderful little decoration. After showing how effectively that was earlier today, why is it that now I'm going back to the old tactic of trying to knock him down before the dwarf does anything? Because it doesn't work! Just so used to being by myself without a dwarf hanging on me, I guess. Here's our final coffer. And now we need to return to Bori. You can return to your spot over where I found you and there we'll meet again in order to look at those braziers and those tall dwarves and all. But for now, I am heading over to the 21st Hall where you'll find me for the next episode of Piney Plays The Burglar.